Hello everyone, I'm Laura from Cherub's Chalks Interiors. Welcome to our channel where we show you all of our furniture makeovers and tell you how you can recreate the look yourself. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how we took this dark old Welsh dresser and turned it into something beautiful, whilst retaining its vintage charm. So this piece required a lot of sanding as I'm not actually intending to paint this one. I'm using my electric sander and I'm going between grits. I start off with 80 grit, then go down to 120 and then to 320. My aim is to remove all of the old dark varnish and leave myself with a lovely smooth wooden surface to apply the stain onto. I'm now going to create a colour wash. I'm doing this by using a small bit of sandcastle which is left in the bottom of my jar and mixing quite a bit of water in there to make a really watery smooth mixture. You can see here how thin the consistency is. It's mainly water, just coloured with a slight touch of sandcastle. Now you can see the dresser sanded back with all of the dark varnish removed. Now I'm going to use a premium chip brush to apply the colour wash. This mixture is of course very runny, so don't worry if it looks rather drippy whilst you're applying it. The important part is to get a good even coat over the entire piece so that the wood can absorb the product. Work in sections to make it more manageable and then using an applicator pad, wipe off the excess. Once you've allowed the clear coat to dry thoroughly, it's time to come in with your wax. I'm going to start with some clear Bestang wax and apply one coat of this all over. Once I've applied this all over, I'm going to come back with a cloth and wipe off any excess. Now it's time to layer up the coloured waxes. I'm starting off with some white wax. I'm going to apply this quite thickly as I want this to be the main wax that you see and I want it to sit in all of the edges and the details. I've really made sure to push the white wax into the wood grain and now again I'm going to remove any of the excess, this time just with a kitchen sponge. This time I've got some brown bestang wax and I'm just going to highlight some of the edges and some other areas where I want some variation of colour. This will help add some depth and some added interest. Now why shouldn't the inside of the piece be just as pretty as the outside? It was looking really rather tired inside so I thought I'd give it a good clean and add some extras. Now I use the same process when I clean any part of the piece. I start off with white lightning and then I rinse off with some water. For the interior I've chose cactus in silk mineral paint. This is a gorgeous green. I've actually not used it for a while and I forgot how much I loved it. I always apply my silk mineral paint using a synthetic brush. This always helps achieve a smooth finish. I couldn't stop with just painting, so I decided to add some transfers to the interior of the door panels. For this one, I'm using the lace transfer, and here I'm just cutting it to size before applying it and using my wood burnishing tool, making sure that you have burnished every area of the transfer onto the piece before removing the clear transfer paper. I've now applied the first section and I'm going to cut the second part. I will then put that into place, matching it up with the first section and then burnish that piece on too. Now I've put it all back together, it's time to show off this piece and see what you think. I think that this gorgeous paint and transfer adds a special extra touch. And it's not usual for me to not paint a piece, but I think that this one looks gorgeous with that natural wood grain. 
highlighted with the colour wash and all of those lovely waxes. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this tutorial and feel inspired to create your next project. If you would like to see more of our projects, then you can go ahead and follow us on all of the social media platforms at Cherub's Chalks Interiors. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment and turn on your post notifications to be notified when we next post. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.